spaceships at work? All right, I see blood. It, it, it was, I don't see fucking spaceships at work. It, it would t- take a lot less for you to shit so your pants listen, than a spaceship. But but like I'm wondering if there was some type of like the, I wonder if they could were communicating with her telepathically, saying like, hey, like we don't we're there's no reason to get upset. Stay calm, relax. We're Check here out for my this six reason. pack. Yeah, look at our sexy bods. They <laughs> maybe they don't even have sexy bods. Maybe that's why they were so hot because they it's projected that image. image. They <laughs> projected that image into fucking Kendall's head. Right, just to keep her calm. They're really and just like, giant, a giant ball sack in there. Right, actually. because even like she said, she's like, I, I, I've got family who who drove race cars, so I know about machines. I'm assuming, like maybe that's and like that's kind of fucking bullshit. I'm wondering, like I feel like they might have put that image in their head, and then you think about it, it's like, well, if they're having mechanical difficulties, why the fuck are they? Why are they going Stopped to the hospital? Here. Yeah, but but then I thought about it. I'm like, it's the 70s. What what type of place other than like let's say a military structure or something like that has high tech fucking equipment, cutting edge kind of stuff, radioactive materials, that type of shit, and that's not really that defended. Right? So they're they're trying to power up, refuel. Maybe, maybe yeah, maybe they're there. Maybe they need like you you think about a hospital. They have the peak technology for the time. They have you know hard to find fucking radioactive materials, all that type of shit. Like it just feels like it was like a purposeful. What do they have radioactive at the hospital? They got tons of fucking shit that radioactive. Like I, any type of fucking cancer wards, anything like that. Um, you go oh, to radiology, like right? all the chem- chemicals okay. and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. X rays, so I guess. Yeah, X ray like machines. They got. They got, and they would have like a hospital that has massive amounts of power going into it. So if you're right? trying to, if you try to charge a ship, we've talked about it a long time ago. Charging a ship, you would need like a, what? let's say. Just hypothetically, you would need a lot of power in a ship like that. So you need a high, a, here, a high current draw. That's a that's a. But that's then a, why wouldn't you just go to the power lines? Though I just don't, but, I just debunk myself. Well, here's a here's here. Well, yeah, true that. But here's one of my questions because I thought this: Did they not have air conditioning in 1970? They for like, sure would, did. Would a hospital not have had air conditioning? Because like to me, the fact that they're like, we're gonna open. You're too hot. We're gonna open no, the window. Dude, I was like, did you forget January. where we're where we are though? Yeah, what's well, cold? Yeah, they don't really have air conditioning that in Vancouver. Period. That's Vancouver, true. Vancouver yeah, Island. yeah, Vancouver Island. There's not a lot. So, but way more now than it was in the seventies. Well, yeah. It's January. It's cold. It'd be cool though. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just like, weird. She's so calm, relaxed. Like I don't know. Hypnotized, perhaps. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like, I, I think like she's. Were, I I could also argue that she was like she's coming off her night shift like she was there she'd been there since what mid, uh, midnight or like 11 p.m or something like that and i i know for sure like i've worked those kinds of hours and if i like in the navy and i'm coming off a shift and i saw something like, a spaceship i work mm-hmm. nights all the time with yeah, other but you'd people be like, if we saw like, something that fine, weird home. we would <laughs> fucking shit our pants well she well, did shit her like, pants, like, right like, mm, no, but she was calm she was like listen no i'd say nine out of ten people would be like holy fuck there's a spaceship right in front of you well, no matter what I, time of day, no matter what the situation, no matter what you fucking seen. Is it possible you think that she was like, she was standing there and just so flabbergasted at what she was looking at that she's just like. But she says, but she describes it as being calm. Yeah. That's yeah, the but, difference. But, but maybe That's it's one of those things thing where she's me. like, oh, it's a helicopter. She, and then you kind of just like, because you reckon. Yeah, then you, you see two sexy fucking dudes, you yeah, know, but, spinning around. It's, there's no, I don't know. If they're kind of, if they're like, <laughs> just we don't get it. We don't know the clop situation. We know they're bipedal, but if they kind of look human, you know what I mean? And it's like, so you kind of have that, like, what am I looking at? Like, maybe it's a common in the sense of you're like, you're truly and utterly confused while you're looking at this thing being like, Are those people? that sounds like more of a shock to me, which a yeah. nurse would be able to describe, but let's continue. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, Kendall making these observations in, in mere moments she kind of was just stuck at the window motionless um, but long enough for her co-worker and supervisor I believe Frida Wilson who was in the same it's room actually uh, Rita Wilson's Canadian cousin I don't know, if you know, that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, who's that grew up together. that's Tom Hanks Rita and Frida Tom uh, Hanks, Tom right. the mom from fucking uh, Jingle All the Way Oh yeah, okay. yeah, I know that movie. <laughs> uh, uh, but Put Kendall, the down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know any of the uh, lines. Just open up the door. There's a bomb in there. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Ke- Kendall was was 
focused on this light uh, on on this craft outside and frida wilson noticed that she had just been standing there for a while so she's kind of wondering like what she kind of looked over and it's like what like, what is she work. looking at <laughs> well she, <laughs> she wondered what she was looking at and um wilson remembers beginning to actually move towards the window where she saw kendall standing because she wanted to see like what she's looking at and like just as she started to move that's when Kendall actually just started like motioning to her silently, like to, to come over and come look at what she was, what she was seeing. So uh, Wilson made her way over to the window in time to see uh, what had captivated Kendall's attention. And she described, you know, she's quoted as saying, I saw this great big light over the patio outside the children's ward. I'd say it was quite a bit larger than a car. Um, and then it started – it was moving around slowly, and then it started to move away. I didn't really see any top or bottom to it. It was all just tremendously bright. Uh, so she didn't get a chance uh, – when, when she described her description, she didn't really get a chance to see the occupants of the craft because this, this craft seemed to be turning away just as um, – uh, just as Kendall kind of mo- motioned her, like the craft had started moving. Um, and this is also uh, where Kendall kind of describes, like it, it, she realized like she needed s- someone else to see it um, as it, w- as it started to kind of move away from the, long, the side of the hospital. And how long was Kendall standing there? Like I just picture like she's, seconds, like seconds, yeah. seconds. I yeah, feel, like, in my mind, I all... thought she was standing there for like five minutes. Just like, no, as no, by this fucking alien. I think it's like feel, moments. I think, I think because of the amount of description she gives afterwards, you feel like, and just the how she describes it, it does seem like it's a long time. But yeah, it's it's it. Uh, she got. I mean, she's quickly. a trained nurse, so I'm sure she's like she's very. She's been doing this for years, and she's Honey, trained I'm to be in <laughs> spacecrafts. What? But observing I mean, anything, I mean, like just being able to look at it, look at something and be like, take in all of that. You say you're not going to fall back on your training on something like this and kind of be like, I need to like, I need to take in as much information as possible. Like before no, this you're, happens. you're in a completely brand new situation that you've never been in in your entire life, seeing something you've never seen before. You're not going to be like mental notes, Shakespeare, or fucking Sherlock moment where you just take photographs with your brain and like, no man, I think, but she you spent know the no, night. I, fuck. It's five. Like you said, it's 5. AM at the end of her night shift. She's not going to sit there fucking crisp as fuck. Being but like she said, like she said, at first she thought it was a helicopter. Like that's something that could be, is totally understandable. It'd be like, I think that's a helicopter. And then, Oh, it's not, but that, but she's looking at it and observing all these things. And then she realizes what she's looking at because after the craft starts moving away and she realizes it's not making sounds, she knows it's not a helicopter. So she's taking in all of this observations and all of these details of what's the occupants, the, the craft itself, because she thinks she's trying to figure out exactly what I, she's looking at. I and she doesn't know eyes, it's a craft. 50 year old nurse eyes are the same as everybody else's eyes in this scenario. <laughs> I don't think any of her. She's observed. She's observing the craft, but she's also observing the occupants. Yeah. Sexy, <laughs> occupants. <laughs> sexy hey, occupants. Honey. That's the first, I think that's the, she, when she tells the story, I think she switches it around just so she seems a little more reliable. But she, the first thing she sees is the aliens inside then she realizes there's the craft around them. She does talk numerous times about how striking they were. Striking. Great physiques. Chiseled almost. Like, yeah. like the statues of Apollo. Like just very <laughs> detailed. All right? Like this there's, beautiful. So just in a little segue, this, this voice fucking kills me because there's a liquor store that I go to that I call. <laughs> I don't know what the name of the liquor store is. It's the closest one in my house. And I call it Honey Babies. And be, I call it Honey Babies because there's an old woman who works there. And when you come honey in, she baby. goes, hey, honey, how are you today? Oh, honey. Like every other word's honey, sweetie, baby. Uh, well, you sound exactly it. like Krusty the Clown. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> People always wonder right, what Brady's job is. in my act. Sideshow Bob. <laughs> <laughs> is, it a good, is it a good Krusty? It's great. That, that's know. your best impression. <laughs> that you didn't mean to do. <laughs> now you shouldn't have said that. Now it's going to go to his head, and that's all he's going to get. That's all you're yeah. going to get. Everything out of him. goes to his you head. Guys, yeah. You guys better be ready for the Nobody, next 10 case files. <laughs> he literally, at the beginning of this fucking case file, the beginning of the show, he's like, hey guys, welcome ATT 270. Now this one's special because this is where I live. I'm from here. <laughs> this is where I It's right around the corner. I've been there. I drove past it. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, you know? I've seen it. Yeah. I've driven these roads. So, uh, 
Beer break. Kendall, Kendall and Wilson realized like what they were looking at. Beer break. Our beer break? Before we well, yeah, before we'll, we get into what they're looking at. Okay, well, before we get there, yeah, we'll take a short beer break because... Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.